the belt of truth. Bible man is on the move. The sword of the spirit is the word of God. There's nothing it can't do. Bible man, Bible man, fighting the good fight. Wearing the breastplate of righteousness and the helmet of salvation. The Bible girl, cipher and melody, fighting for the way. of Bible Man. Dispatching the Grand Duchess's disrespectful desserts, an adventure in respect. Luke 2, verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with people. Double the flour, the eggs, and the oil. Stir in the butter, bring water to boil. Sprinkle the cinnamon and watch it all bubble. Oh, how I love bacon treats of trouble. <laughs> Once the kids in this town have a taste of my disrespectful desserts, courtesy and respect will turn into cinnamon-flavored rudeness. Good morning, Mr. Williams. That'll be 3.38. Here, let me get the door for you. Just look at this repulsive behavior. Here, let me get the door for you. No wonder they keep coming back. But when I turn Ron Michelson's hard-working son into a disrespectful brat, all their precious customers will be running from this store and straight into mine. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon to you, young man. I was just baking up a storm this morning and thought to myself, why don't I drop some fresh cinnamon buns down at the Hilda General Store? I must admit, I ate one myself just to taste test the goods, you know, and might I say they are almost sinfully delicious. I can't wait to try one. Don't you go spoiling your lunch, you know. Hello, Bible man. I just finished my meeting with Pastor Roberts and saw four messages from HQ, but the threat alarm never went off. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. The only alarm going off here is the growling from KG's stomach. It has a mind of its own and is not afraid to get vocal about it. Would you mind picking up a couple of pizzas on your way back so Cypher can stop talking to his stomach in the third person? <laughs> sure thing. I know this great place. <laughs> Report. Looks like a threat level 8. Location is Hilda General Store. That's not far from the pizza place. I'll swing by the General Store first. Bible Man out. Hold on, hold on. Where is he? It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Ron. Why are you closed? Sorry, folks. My son Ricky's supposed to be up here. Ricky! Ricky! Ricky, what are you doing? It's the middle of the day. Calm down, Dad. I was just taking a break and watching the recap from last night's game. Lost track of time. Lost track of time? You can't just lock up shop and disappear like that. We had customers waiting outside, banging on the door. Guess I couldn't hear them with my headphones in. Did waiting five minutes ever kill anyone? Listen here, young man. I don't know what's gotten into you, and I don't appreciate your attitude one bit. You'd be wise to get back to work now. Mmm, those buns sure are good. Do you sell cases of bottled water? Might want to check the aisle right behind you. You know, the one with the huge sign that says, Bottled Water. Ricky, I need some help back here. Well, I'm kind of busy up here, so you're going to have to wait a minute. He's been on my case all morning. Boy, if I would have spoken to my father like that when I was your age. Good thing it's not the 1860s anymore, huh? I'll speak to my father however I want to speak to my father. That'll be 879, old man. Here, Mr. Williams, let me get that for you. See you tomorrow. Maybe. What's wrong with you today? You best get back to treating our customers and me with proper respect, young man. Whatever. They're not my customers. 
I'd say I've let this recipe simmer just long enough. Old man Ron will never find a harder worker than that kid. And he certainly won't be able to run a competitive business with no one to man the cash register. <laughs> oh! No, it, it can't be. Not already. Bubble man. And then he just stormed off. I've never known Ricky to treat me or our customers with such disrespect. Now some of them are threatening to never shop here again. We have reason to believe Ricky has come under some form of attack. Attack? Please, Bible man, Ricky's all I got left. Sometimes I'm too hard on him and I don't tell him enough how much he really means to me. James 5 verse 16 tells us to confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The urgent request of a righteous person is very powerful in its effect. Never underestimate the power of your prayers, Mr. Michelson. Thank you, Bible Man. Cypher, this is Bible Man. Go ahead, Bible Man. There's more going on here than I expected. Have Melody... Bible Man, are you there? What is it? <laughs> Cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns? Come on, man, that's not funny. I'm going to do a perimeter sweep. Have Melody prep the lesson on respect. I need all of you down here as soon as possible. Hurry. Roger that, Bible Man. Zap. Not a nod, Bible Man. <laughs> I don't know where Bible Man is. He was just here a few minutes ago. He said he was gonna take a look around, and his Bible cycle is still parked out front. I'm sure he'll be back any minute. Don't worry, we've got the lesson on respect already. We just need a- Ricky, I'm so glad you're back, son. The Bible team is here, and they'd like to have a word with you. Oh man, the last thing I want right now is a bunch of Bible nerds getting all preachy with me. Hey man, that's a pretty disrespectful thing to say. Well, I don't need anyone else bossing me around. My dad already runs my life as it is. Ricky, our parents have been put in charge so that they can help us to understand right and wrong. And to help us make wise choices. Obeying and respecting our parents helps protect us from making costly mistakes. Your dad cares a lot about you. Here, have a look, Ricky. We have many scriptures about baby Jesus and tons about adult Jesus, but not much about Jesus as a young man. Of course, baby Jesus grew, and just like all babies, he got smarter as he grew, learning to talk and read. The Gospel of Luke gives us the only story in the whole Bible about Jesus' boyhood. It's about 12-year-old Jesus staying in the temple when his parents left town. But Jesus also had wisdom. He knew what to read. Luke 2 verse 52 tells us that Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and with people. It is important to listen to the wisdom of those older than you and to show your elders respect, especially your parents, because they know what is best for you. Jesus knew his real father was God, but was obedient to his earthly parents. By showing them respect, you also honor your heavenly father. Exodus 20 verse 12 says, Honor your father and your mother, so that you may have a long life in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. Dad, I'm so sorry for everything I said. I don't know what got into me. It's okay, son. I'm so proud of you. Guys, Bible Man's still not back yet. Bible Man? This is Cypher, do you copy? All I get is static. I'm not getting any signal from him at all. Ah, look, he's finally coming too. Well, hello there, Bible Man. You look positively shocked to see me. Duchess, what have you done to Ricky? You should worry less about what I've done to little boy Ricky, and more about what I'm gonna do to big bad Bible man. And you should be less worried about me, and more worried about being convicted by the sword of the spirit. You mean this trinket? Seems pretty powerless to me. No, Duchess. Ephesians 6 verse 17, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The sword of the spirit and the shield of faith aren't powered by electricity. 
Really, Bible man? A giant sword and a shield? Don't you think you're just a little bit overarmed here? Ephesians 6 says that by the Lord's vast strength, we can stand against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavens. This is why you must take up the full armor of God. <laughs> Bible man! You know, for a second there, I thought you were gonna... Please tell me that's not your stomach. Not this time. That's coming from outside. There! That blue van! The rumbling stop! Now you know what the shield is for. Bible Man, are you okay? I am now, but after being trapped in the back of this van with the smell of those cinnamon buns, I'm starving. Yep, that was me this time. Can we finally get that pizza now? <laughs> <laughs> the Grand Duchess of Greed showed us how a lack of respect can get a person into trouble. We must show honor and respect to our elders so we can humbly learn from their wisdom. God wants us to obey and respect so we'll be able to live a life filled with all the blessings He has given us.